different people can de describe ESG scores, and they, I'm sure the government, when it finally publishes its definition, mm -hmm. they'll describe it differently. But it stands for environment, social, and governance. So it, it covers environment investing. You, you want uh, companies to take into account certain environmental factors uh, when they uh, undertake their business practices. It takes uh, social, so um, basically <laughs> social credit scores. It's it's you want them to be politically correct. Uh, you want them to have certain equity qualities, mm -hmm. um, qualifications in place. Uh, social justice issues need to be addressed, and governance. So how a, a company is run, that would also deal with. Uh, you know, do you have the right racial makeup on your board? Do you have the right gender or gender neutral makeup on your board, you know, however you want to define that. The point is, it is taking non-business factors, factors that have nothing whatsoever to do with most businesses, practices and bottom lines, uh, whether they will be profitable, whether they are loan worthy. Yes. Uh, it is trying to enforce non-business practices across the board on all businesses based on uh, liberal, woke uh, socialism. And you, you, you showed up, uh, you show that graphic again. You can show, yes, of show some of the things that they look at. Yeah. So, so this graphic that we have here, if I actually scrolls down, it'll show us related to environmental scores, what um, sections like actually influence these. So as you can see here, uh, sure. carbon emissions, um, product carbon footprints, the financing or financing environmental impact. Now to a degree, the problem with this kind of thing is, the environmental impact of something you finance is not objective for all people. It's a, a question that, you know, if, if, if a power plant emits CO2, us five here, we don't we don't think that's the biggest issue in the world. But then you get, say, a more uh, left leaning organization to say, oh, this is the, the impacts of this are literally catastrophic. And well, I will say that ESG scores are generally oriented towards appeasing the left, not the right. So much of the things that they would argue is objective, I would argue, is factually incorrect. Well, and also, just based on what you just showed, entire industries cannot satisfy certain ESG scores. I'm sorry, if you're an oil company, you put out carbon emissions. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you're you can't gas, do business so, otherwise. So that's right. So there are certain businesses that will never be able to make ESG warriors happy. And so... What they want is the government to sanction these industries, saying, sorry, we want banks to not loan to companies in certain industries because they don't have the right ESG scores. We want uh, the Federal Reserve not to do business with certain industries. We want other regulators to enforce financial um, uh, strictures on companies and industries based on their ESG scores. And we want every company... To, to to have one we want uh if you're a publicly traded company we want you to take into account climate change whether climate change has anything, has anything will have any impact on your business whatsoever i'm mm -hmm. sorry if i live in inland texas not nowhere near a co coast uh, tornadoes aren't uh, uh, being affected by climate change um and i've got a small business here that i've incorporated as a subchapter s corporation why should I be forced to try and predict 50 years in the future how climate change might infect my business? 